right, very brief, hello, very brief video about this really slick, small pressure sprayer I bought for doing copper while I'm pruning and for um, just kind of spot insecticide or spot stuff because I don't really use insecticides. Anyway, what's nice, I got it from U.S. Plastics. It's chemically resistant. That's good, especially for the copper. That's huge. Um, it's a large animal uh, pressure resistant sprayer. It's got this really cool head on it, which is designed, when you're holding this, it actually shoots upward. And that's for like spraying the udders and the teats and the other parts that are hanging underneath as necessary. I don't do large animal husbandry. It uses air, so you pump it up and then you've got a, a spray mechanism like that. You can also spray straight on if you want to. You know, you have choices. It's a very kind of a nice product. It's really similar to what I use for the sanitizer. Um, I use a garden sprayer for uh, handling sanitizer in the cider mill. Um, they handle it. They, they tolerate it very well. The components, you know, you don't have a pump immersed in fluid. You know, it, they just ha they hang together better. And I'm really counting on this in the spring. I, I tried using one sprayer where you're actually pumping the spray through the pump. I tried it with copper. I got three sprays out and that puppy seized up. So, got this from U.S. Plastics. I'll put a link in the more section. Uh, if you've been looking for a small sprayer, it took me a while to find this. And like most of the things I use, it comes down to mail order of, you know, old school. But I buy on the web. So there you have it. That's it. Small chemical sprayer. Bye-bye.